Hey there, got a question on the comments on another video about how to set the clock. Uh, this is the analog clock in the 85 Chevy Caprice. And I realized that it's probably a pretty common problem, but uh, underneath the clock, you'll see down here an opening. And there's normally a post that comes out down there that you can pull and set the clock. And as you can see, this one has fallen out and broken. But also, as you can see, the clock is still working. So I'll show you on another one uh, what that pin looks like and what you can do. But first, I'll show you underneath the dash at the fuse panel to use that as an alternative way to set the clock if you don't want to take things apart. All right, so here's the fuse box underneath the dash on the Chevy. I'll back out here to show you where it is. Just kind of come right underneath and above the emergency brake. And I'll show you there. You'll see one of these fuses up here, the yellow one. It's labeled courtesy and clock, CLK. That's uh, for the interior lights and, of course, clock for clock. You pull that fuse course that's going to stop the clock till the time is right and then plug the fuse back in and then your clock will be right until you disconnect the battery or the fuse. So for me with the clock that is working it's an original I want to keep it in there and I don't want to pull it apart to repair that pin. Uh, I just pull this fuse whenever I need to set the clock and plug it in when I get the clock set the way I want it. Okay, so, so here's another clock uh, taken out from a junkyard for the Caprice. And underneath here, this is the pin that you should see if yours is in place. And if you have this in the car, pull down here and then turn to the right or to the left. That's how you set the time. And then you just simply release it. The spring that's in here may fail and the clip will come out and then boom the pin falls out that's what happened to mine so look on the back you can see here it's clipped into place and I've popped off the lower two just to show you the inside of the mechanism and you can see here how that pin is put in place so we're just gonna Slide this out. Okay, there's your light. If you have no light on your clock, that's why. And here's that pin mechanism. So you can see if you pull this down to the side, excuse me, straight down and turn, that's how it engages. And there's a spring here too, as you can see right here to hold this in place. So, like I said, for me, I just left mine in there. Um, I have the pin somewhere, but just use the fuse to set it whenever I want or need to. And so, you may have the same issue. Uh, if you do, you can try to fix the pin and the spring here by remounting it, take the clock apart, or you just leave it in place. But Anyway, that's how the set mechanism works for the original analog clock. And uh, thanks for watching.